Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing some sublimation on tumblers. Um, we're going to be working on two 20 ounce skinny straight tumblers. And then we're going to also be doing some kids tumblers. We're going to do two of each. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the images right now that I'm going to be um, using. So when I do prints, like single prints, I usually like to do it on my Epson 15,000, but since I'm not going to be only printing out one image, I'm going to be printing out four images, then I'm just going to go ahead and do it on my Epson F570, which is already a sublimation tumbler. You do not have to convert this one. And you guys, I highly, if you can afford it, um, I would highly like just get that Epson printer because you don't have to convert it or anything and you could print out like multiple um, images like if you're running a small business or even if you're starting to start your own little small business and you have orders coming in um, it's like just so much convenient and you don't have to do like no head nozzle checks or anything like that or head cleans or you know anything like that because this printer it automatically cleans itself so you guys can do your research on the Epson F570. Um, but yeah, you guys, I love it. <laughs> and I have no issues with it. Since I bought it, I have no issues with it. And I love that you can print out um, plenty of pictures just like literally in one time. Um, I also don't mind my <laughs> Epson 15000. It's been great to me. Um, I've done like a couple nozzle checks and head cleans um since i've bought it but you know not many that um i would say it's like a lot and so yeah you guys i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the sublimation paper that i do use if i am printing on singles um i have this one which is a lot thicker it's the 120g um it's an eight and a half by 11 and it's by a sub um this one's okay i just i don't really like the thickness of it but i mean it prints out nicely it sublimates nicely um, it's just a thicker paper um, and then this is my all-time favorite um, you could go ahead and just get the eight and a half by 11 and but this one is just like 11 by 17 this is a larger sheet I use this mainly if I'm using like my um, larger tumblers if I'm using like the small ones like the kids tumblers I'll go ahead and just use the eight and a half by 11 but like I said, since I'm using my F570, since I'm using, since I'm printing a lot of images, I'm just going to go ahead and do it on that. I'm not going to use any of these sublimation papers, but I just wanted to show you guys what I do use if I were to be using my, you know, single sheet paper um, printer. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the images that I'm going to be printing out on my printer and we'll go from there. Also, I'll share the sizes of the 20 ounce skinny straight tumblers that I do use and I get those from Amazon. Now we're going to go ahead and show you guys the images before my video becomes very long. Okay, you guys, um, these smaller ones, you're not going to be able to really see because, because they are a lot smaller. Those are for my um smaller tumblers but it's just pretty much mario and luigi and then um right here i got mario and then right here i got the little unicorn mickey and minnie and then right here i got hello kitty so these two right here are for the 20 ounce skinny tumblers and the sizing for those are with 9.33 height 8 and for my kids' tumblers, width for those are 8.417, and the height is going to be 6. With 8.417, height is going to be 6. Once again, for the larger ones, 20-ounce skinny straight is 9.33 by 8. And so, now that I have my images onto my sheet, I did put the width at 17 and the height by 24. So I'm going to make sure that I do that on the dialogue when I am getting ready to print. So we're going to go here to print. We're going to click down here to print. We're going to check out of this because nothing will pop up. The dialogue is in the back. So right here you're going to check whatever printer you're going to be using. I know the majority of people don't have the same large printer like I do that prints out a lot of images. So I'm going to show you guys both ways. I will actually show you guys 
through the um, Epson 15,000 because I know the um, preferences are, you know, a lot different than, you know, how it would be on my other printer. And I'll show you guys the difference. With this one, you guys see all these. You can put it on presentation paper mat and all that other stuff, right? So for my sublimation, this is what I have it on. Paper tray, letter size. Depending on the size of your image, that's where you're gonna go ahead and just check it. If it's eight and a half by 11, for example, the kids tumblers, and you'll click that one. If it's a larger image, then you'll go 11, I mean, then you'll go 11 by 17. This is just an example. I'm not gonna be printing out through this printer, but I just want you guys to see like the difference of you know, the format of this because it's totally different than the one that I'm going to be printing off of. And then, so it's going to be on portrait and right here is going to be premium presentation paper mat. It's going to be on high quality. It's going to be on color. And then you're going to want to check print preview. Then you're going to go to more options here. You're going to click on custom. You're going to click on advanced. You're going to click right here where it says Adobe RGB. 2.2 and then you're going to click OK. Then after that, make sure your image is mirrored. Then you're going to click OK. And then you're going to click apply if there's any changes. And then you're going to click print. And then a print preview is going to pop up after this. If the image it does fit into like um, the preview page, like, you know, it's nothing of the images is coming out or anything like that, then you're just going to go ahead and uh, click print. For me, I'm going to be using my Epson F500 and I'm going to click on preferences. See how like it's different. The setup is like totally different. Um, but anyways, right here, I'm going to have current settings. Right here, I'm going to click settings and I'm going to change the sizing. I'm going to have it as this one, Super A2, which is going to be 17 by 24, like I had on my um, Silhouette Studio page. And then I'm going to click OK. And then from here, I have it on roll paper because I am going to be using the roll. And this, if you want to, you know, do it on the single sheet, you can. And you'll just have to click Sheet. But like I said, I'm going to do roll paper. And then right here, depending on what you're going to be pressing your sublimation paper on, like if you're going to do like any garment or anything like that, you're gonna um, click textile. If you're gonna do anything like tumblers or any like anything like a hard surface, then you're gonna click rigid. I'm gonna do tumblers, so I'm gonna click rigid. So right here, I, it's gonna be on standard. Right here, it's gonna be max quality. And then right here, it's gonna be print preview. And then for here, you're going to have it on mirror image. After that, I do not mess with anything else. Make sure that everything is correct. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to press Apply. I'm going to press Print. So once your print preview page pops up and everything seems centered in the paper, then you're just going to go ahead and click Print. You want to do this as well with the other uh, printer settings if you're using the other printer make sure that you know your image is inside the paper and not outside if not maybe like the paper sizing and stuff like that anyways mine seems correct it's gonna be perfectly fine everything's inside the paper sheet um and now i'm just gonna go ahead and click print me we
over my appetite Don't leave me here high and dry Right, guys with these um, smaller tumblers make sure that you guys cut some of the wrap because I feel like if you leave it too long like the other ones and you want to like seal it make sure to avoid the metal part area because this because this wrap is going to definitely get stuck onto the metal part and you're gonna have a really really hard time trying to remove it um, I did that a long time before <laughs> And trust me, I've learned never to do that again because I was literally like tussling with this tumbler trying to remove the wrap out of it. So make sure to avoid this metal part that it does not touch that if you have to use a wrap. A lot of the times people just use low, the tumbler presses so they do not need the wraps for those. If you're using the oven like I am, make sure you put on a wrap. All right, you guys, finally done with the tumblers. I have two that are already cooled off completely and then the two smaller ones are still on the window trying to cool off I'm going to peel all of the tumblers first and then I'll go ahead and show you guys like the final looks. Okay, let me see if the smaller tumblers are dry so I could go ahead and peel them open. They're still pretty warm, but they're peelable, however you want to say it. <laughs> what the dog does it? Eggman, Mom! What? Just the Eggman. The Eggman. Okay, you guys, what should I start off with first? I think I'm going to start off with the little ones first. For the little ones, when you guys are putting on the paper to, you know, wrap it on the on the tumbler, make sure that you have your lid on so you can measure, not measure, but line up the image on where you want it. Me, personally, I like to have the images that when the child or the person are drinking out of it i want to say that you know when i'm doing like water bottles like these or like the or like the bigger water bottles for you know adults i want to show that when they're drinking out of it that the image is actually showing you know so the people can you know see the image versus the person that's drinking it because you know you want people to to be able to see the image on the tumbler and how cute it is but anyways this is what this one looks like and then the next one is the mario and luigi one which is also a kid one and you also the same thing you want to line it up to where the paper closes have it facing that way and then when they're drinking out of it people can see the image as well so this one's what this so this is what this one looks like oh good job and then this is the other mario one And then this is the Hello Kitty one. Just, 
that's pretty much it also what i'm going to do with the lid on this i have to add some ice chips and candy on it and then this one will be totally done i'm gonna do that off the camera because i'm kind of in a rush to deliver these so i want to be able to you know get all that stuff on there right now and then so i could just head out so i'm gonna pretty much do it on off the camera because when you guys are recording i feel like it just takes so much longer to have to set up and you know do all that stuff and i really don't have time for that right now i barely had enough time <laughs> to show you guys how to do this because i do want you guys to learn but um there's other videos where i do my lids so you guys want to go ahead and check those out as well those videos i don't remember which ones they are sorry but you might want to dig in there they're not far off so they're you know some recent ones but anyways you guys i'm gonna go ahead and do the lid and then i will post a video of the ending results on the end of the video and so you guys can see how it looks like with the ice chips and the candy on it anyways with that being said i'm going to go ahead and end this video now i'm gonna go finish up this lid and i will talk to you guys on the next video thank you guys all for subscribing to my channel welcome to the new subscribers um don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my videos and turn on your notification bell so you are notified every time i'm posting a new video and that's pretty much it also you guys just put it up there once again because i don't think people are really understanding that i do not want <laughs> negative comments on my videos like i just don't i had one person comment on my video where i'm showing you guys how to fix your cricut machine light which is my very very first video that i wanted to do to share you guys and ever since then i'm like you know what i'm gonna just start making videos i was still kind of iffy on what i wanted to do i started off with shirts now i'm doing tumblers and a mix of shirts as well aprons and you know tote bags and etc so that was my very very first video i <laughs> did it with the intentions to help you guys i didn't have to do that because trust me that there are no videos of that when i was doing that research of me trying to figure out how to do it like how to fix that light to come on there was no videos whatsoever you guys i literally had to go on google and search it and finally i popped up after searching and busting my brain to help you guys out and you're welcome i figured it out and i'm like hey you know what i i want to help people out let me just share my experience that i had with cricket and being on the phone with them for like literally an hour to two hours or something like that it was a very long time it felt like and we came up with nothing or that person came up with nothing he was not helpful whatsoever he just said i needed to replace the light which i did not have to do that i literally had to turn off my cricket machine push a and b together down a couple times once i turn on the cricket machine the light came on clearly this lady that decided to comment on my video with her rude ass you didn't do nothing in this video what did you show i didn't see no light come on excuse me lady if you don't like what you saw or you didn't find my video helpful all you have to do is just click up out of it and go find you something that's gonna help you figure this out bust your head like i did when i was trying to figure out how to fix that it's just that simple and trust me that i did want to be snappy with her and talk ish back to her but you know what I'm not gonna do that it's 2024 i said i was gonna be a better person i am not gonna snap back <laughs> i'm just gonna breathe it out and just let it go end up deleting the comment end up blocking her and that was it yes it bothers me because <laughs> it's like i literally did that video because i thought it was going to be helpful to many of people which i feel like i did help a lot of people and they've been grateful and left good comments um positive comments of that saying that they're so thankful that they came across my video and i helped them and 
that's it so thank you guys for leaving me positive comments and being grateful for my video that it did help you guys and for the ones that did it, it didn't help them thank you for not commenting ne nothing negative and just leaving and you know finding something else that may have helped your situation and if my video didn't help you i am so sorry that it didn't help you or that you did not understand my instructions maybe you're a little slow <laughs> oh my god let me just stop Whew, Usa. anyways i'm done with my little rant i have to go finish this lid like i said and i'm up here ranting for literally what five minutes already oh my god i'm done <laughs> Sorry that you guys have to hear my little rants, but sometimes I just feel like I just gotta let them out and like put them out there. Like, y'all, just keep your negative comments to yourself. I don't wanna hear them, please. Like, I want my videos to be nothing but positive and helpful to you guys because I really, really, truly enjoy helping. And I wanna be there to help you guys. That's all I want. But if you guys are not finding my videos helpful, then there's plenty of more you can go search around i'm pretty sure you'll find something that will suit your needs trust me but with that being said thank you guys all so so much for commenting mainly positive things and god bless you guys take care you guys now we'll see you guys on the next one bye guys Baby, you give me a bit You whip up my appetite Don't leave me in high and dry